Hi, welcome to the Go Greenfield Podcast with me, Taryn, and me, River. Um, today we actually didn't do a podcast, we did a video because so many of you have been requesting it, requesting it, and, um, if you go to gogreenfields.com, you can actually see it, and, um, just to give you a little bit of info on it, we did a chicken marsala, watermelon gazpacho, um, um panna cotta, strawberry panna cotta, yeah, strawberry, and we did a little bit of a baked baguette with olive oil. Yeah, that was really good. So, uh, I hope you like our video. Thank you for all your encouragement, and yeah, thanks. Hi, we're here with Chef Steve, and he's going to teach us how to make authentic Italian dishes. We are going to learn how to make a watermelon gazpacho, excuse me, a watermelon gazpacho bruschetta caprizi, and it's caprizi because it has a little bit of cheese in it. And then we're also doing a chicken marsala with Brussels sprouts and also a panna cotta with strawberry balsamic compote. Okay, so now we're cutting um, mom's baguette for the crostini. Okay, so then you're going to um, put the baguettes on a, like a saucepan or cookies. <laughs> Where did I get that? Okay. A uh, cookie sheet, and then you're going to drizzle it in olive oil, and then sprinkle some pepper on it. Okay, so we just learned a new cut. This is called spinade. It's like stripes. Yeah. Looks like and you're going to put as many garlic cloves in as your heart desires. We are going to dice, no not dice, cut some strawberries and then put in some balsamic vinegar and then cook it down until it's like a sauce. Perfect. Huh. Cook down and then the natural juices will start coming out of the strawberries. Yep. Back to you, Terry. Okay, so the ingredients for the Marcella is uh, carrot gold butter or any butter. I just like carrot gold because it's like awesome. And um, mushrooms, baby Bella mushrooms, um, garlic, chicken, uh, Marcella cooking wine, pepper, salt. And Finca Galvez Arbequina fresh pressed olive oil. From the olive oil club. Thank Which is it? Aaron? River. River. Oh. <laughs> he didn't have a bracelet on. That mom moment. He didn't have a bracelet on. <laughs> Put the brush pack in half. Then you um, caramelize them. So you cut the Brussels sprouts in half. Then you caramelize them. And make it nice and wait, mm -hmm. And you go in the oven to get nice and creamy. Okay, yeah. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the this will brown really fast because it's in that. Nah. It might burn. <laughs> Yeah, uh, save some room for more ice Brussels sprouts. Okay, perfect. It's one of my favorite things, and I grew up believing they were like the devil. Even <laughs> <laughs> my, my parents would tell us. To eat tomorrow. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm cutting watermelon to eat tomorrow because we have too much and we mangled it. Things I have left them. Oh, what is he doing? Um, He's making, he's cutting the chicken for the chicken ma masala. masala. <laughs> <laughs> and be careful too, because if you go masala, then we're cooking totally different region. That's in India. Uh, yeah. It is good. This is going to be good. Mm -hmm. I think I made chicken parmesan once. They have a name for this in Italy. It's called scallopini. Mm -hmm. Usually it's veal, veal scallopini. I was going to say, I know I've heard it, but... Oh, 
So I'm scallopening. Yeah. I'm scallopening the chicken, Ooh. which is Italian for pretty much hammering it. <laughs> What's in your face? Fancy. What's in your face now? <laughs> is um, sa no, not sauteing. <laughs> Why am I forgetting this? <laughs> Pan, we are sauteing slash pan frying slash steering the chicken. And you put it in the oven and cook it. Yay! But why? Oh, um, so it can actually cook. So it's not raw. Keeps the juices in more than kicking it just in the pan. Ah, uh, okay. After all. Okay, so we got a new sponsor, and it's called the um, Press Pressed Olive Oil Club. It's really good because most olive oil, even what you get at fancy restaurants, is fake and watered down with nasty vegetable oil. The kind of olive oil that's truly healthy for you is dark, rich, and bottled in a glass, not plastic. And that's exactly what we use in our cooking in the Greenfield House. Every month as part of the Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club, we get three new bottles of the tastiest olive oil on the face of the plant sent right to our front door. And now you can too, for just one penny. That's right, to try a bottle of the healthiest olive oil, you can go and get your socks knocked off by the flavor of what real olive oil <laughs> truly can be. So, you can get a bottle of olive oil for one penny. This, that's at gogreenfields.com slash olive oil. So we have a new sponsor called ButcherBox, and if you go to the website butcherbox.com slash gogreenfields, you can get a life full of free bacon, 20% off of everything, and free shipping. That's a lot of good stuff, folks. So if you just go to butcherbox.com slash gogreenfields, you can get real tasty beef, real tasty chicken, and real tasty other meats that some of them I don't know how to pronounce. And you can also get free bacon with every box. And it's real tasty, folks. Real tasty.